Do you long to know your destiny? Does your passion align with your purpose? Do you want the Word of God active and alive in your life? Join Susan as she inspires, empowers, and brings truth to people from all walks of life. causing them to break through and arise into their destiny. Hello and welcome again to Arise with Susan. I am so happy to join, that you join me today and to join you wherever you are at. I am so excited every time I hear a testimony or a word from someone that they are getting, benefiting from this show because that's what it's all about. And today is no different. We are going to have an exciting, fun show today and we're going to talk about our health, which is so important to all of us. In this time and day in which we live, we need to be healthy because we need to carry out that plan that God has on our lives, right? And this is what the show is about. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about health and, and, and we need assistance in that. And what would I, what would you think if I were to say to you, uh, chiropractic, what would, what would come to mind, uh, or chiropractor? You know, I asked my husband that, you know, and just practicing and he said, uh, he thought of snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> or he said, release the McCracken, you know, and it's, it's, it's fun, but it's, you know what, there's some seriousness about this as well. And we're going to talk about that today. And I, today, and I have my fun friend and my chiropractor, Dr. Kristen Anderson. Welcome to my show. I'm so, so excited. Yes. And she's so fun too. <laughs> and, uh, um, I just love her and I know when we get done, you're going to love her too. Um, I've had, you know what, I've had a few chiropractors in my time and, um, and they were all good, but when... I visited Dr. Doc, I call her Dr. Kristen. She did magical things <laughs> to my back and to my neck. It is so true, my friends. <laughs> and um, I've been going to you about two years now, right? Yeah, about that. About two mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I, so what I so appreciate uh, about you is your love and your passion to keep us healthy, to get us healthy yes. and to keep us yes. healthy, no matter what it takes. I call her on a Sunday. I call her, can I, one time, uh, what, 8.30 at night. I'm like, yes. I'm hurting, girl. <laughs> 8.30 at night. We've had Friday night visits pretty late. <laughs> yes. But that's okay. Yeah. That's what we have to do. Yes, we have. And yes. my daughter too. Yes. You know, and she does her little babies and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Yeah. But, um, I just want to just and just welcome you. Thank you so much for having me. It's going to be excited. A I'm today. excited to be, be here fun. and talk about yeah. what I do. Talk about this yes. little guy here. Lovely spine. We're going to show you some stuff. Yes. Yes. So, okay. So let's, let's talk about, um, your education. Yeah. Um, Talk to us about your education. Okay, so um, I started, well, I guess, can I go back a you little step? You can go wherever you want. So girl. let me just tell why I wanted to become a chiropractor, because to me that's It's a big how, deal. Yeah, it is. It's a big, it's a big, deal. big thing for me. Mm -hmm. So I was a freshman in high school, and I got hurt playing basketball, and I hurt my ankle, which I know sounds weird. It's not about the spine. Right. But um, we, my coach actually had said, you need to see a chiropractor. And I was like, meh. I kind of think you're a little crazy, but okay. <laughs> so my parents went ahead and mm -hmm. took me. So anyway, long story short, it was a miracle to me because I walked out of his office that day with absolutely no pain. Right I, I was, ugh. Right and on. I said, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I want to do. I mm -hmm. feel like this is my life. So here I am now. So mm -hmm. moving forward, I went ahead and went to um, college. You have to do mm -hmm. some undergraduate studies. Yeah. And then you get accepted into chiropractic school. It's about four years after your graduate or after undergraduate. And then here I am. Yeah. I moved to Arizona yeah. right after graduation. And I've yeah. been here since 2005 practicing yeah. chiropractic. And, you know, it's so funny that, you know, that you were injured. Yeah. But yet, mm -hmm. uh, to me, God used that. Yeah, He used that because now look at you. That that and, yeah. and when I was reading your bio, that's what you mm -hmm. said. That's what you determined. That that's what you want to do. Yes, yes, yes. I want to heal people. And yes. I, you know what it is for me. Um, most people don't come in happy. Right. They're they're grumpy. I get a lot <laughs> of grumpy people, and that's okay. And, and because My, they're in pain. Pain. Pain mm -hmm. does that to people. Mm -hmm. So for me, yeah. my goal not only to make them 
physically feel better, but I want to smile on their face. Yeah. That, that's If I can yeah. get them to smile before they leave, I've done my job. Yeah, That's really yeah. how I look at it. And yeah. you're good at it. Thank you so much. You're good at bringing a <laughs> smile. She's good at bringing a smile mm -hmm. on your face. You really are. Thank and you. you know that you're being helped by someone that truly cares about you. Mm -hmm. And will you can ask her any question, and she's uh, she's an open book. You're an open book. <laughs> I, I try love. to, and I'm not yes. afraid to admit if I need to look something up. Exactly. That's also mm -hmm. something I try very hard to do, and I want to give you five False information because yeah. I don't think that's fair no. for anybody either. So I, yeah, yeah. And I, I yeah. just I, I just so appreciate that with you. Um, so um, let's talk about some ra main reasons why people come to see a chiropractor. Biggest, I would say, well, two main reasons: headaches, mm -hmm. low back pain. Those are the biggest two for mm -hmm. me that I see on I would say on a daily basis or even a weekly basis. I guess yeah. just depending. Um, yeah. Lower back pain can be excruciating for people because of you know work, life. Mm -hmm. We all walk around, we run around. I mean, yeah. life gets crazy. So if you're having those ugh, kinks in your back, that can be just ugh, debilitating for yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. Headaches, same thing. You've got, mm -hmm. you know, we all have life to live. We have kids, we have families. So yeah. we gotta keep going. And most of us try to push through it. And that's, that's true. Not we do. Very. We do. We try to yeah. push through. Yeah. We try to push through. Because um, well, when I came to you, I was having actually I was having shoulder issues. Yes. Yeah. You yep. know, and mm -hmm. man, I think mm -hmm. a lot of people struggle. Like right, it's right there by that shoulder blade, yep. right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is. It's very true. It's usually. As humans, <laughs> yeah. as Come humans, on. we're creatures of habits. So yes. We do the same things the same mm -hmm. way all the time. Mm -hmm. So we all tend to get a spot or a side mm -hmm. that is our problem spot. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for you, it happened to be, you know, yes. that, that shoulder area yeah. up there. And that's true for most people in the world. Mm -hmm. So we just got to get in there and and work it out. Work it out. Get it fixed. Get those. Get the nerves heal to yeah. heal. I mean, all I do yes. is let the body heal itself. Yes, that's actually my job. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. And once we got that little, so can you show us something? Something that you something with this? Little, I love this thing. I love this little guy. <laughs> so here's <laughs> our guy. little spine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what we um, obviously, if we're working on our neck stuff, so let mm -hmm. me just kind of give you. I don't know which way the best angle is for everybody to see. So this is our whole spine. This is what sits in our mm -hmm. back. So I'll turn a little bit to the side. So we have our neck our mid back and our lower back, and these are our hips. <laughs> so what we are looking for is, we're looking for these spinuses. These are called our spinous processes, and if you touch your back, these are what you're actually feeling on the center. Uh -huh. So what, we're, what I'm feeling for is motion. We want the spine to move, and there's mm -hmm. different degrees through different segments. I won't bore you with all of that crazy stuff there, but, <laughs> <laughs> but the other thing is, so I'm gonna do a kind of a crazy example here, but these, okay. these these little yellow tube things here, <laughs> these are our nerves. So our nerves exit our spine and they supply our entire body. Yeah. They make they make our um but they make us function. Mm -hmm. They they cause pain, they cause numbness, they cause muscle soreness. Or if there is no impingement on them, our body is normal. Yes. What is normal? Yeah. I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> these days I don't know. But, <laughs> so what happens when I'm looking for when I'm I'm you know, checking your spine is, I'm gonna exaggerate this again. So if this, this bone here is completely kinked like that, see how that nerve here is gonna be a little bit, mm -hmm. what we call pinch, it's kind of like that garden hose. So if a garden hose is kinked, that water can't get all the way through. Mm -hmm. So if that water doesn't get all the way through, what happens? That plant doesn't get watered, yeah. causing it to, well, in that case, hopefully not die, but, and our bodies, it's the same way. Wherever yeah. this nerve is running to, mm -hmm. and it's all pinched off, that organ, that muscle, whichever it is, is not functioning at its optimum level. Yeah. So what we're looking for is to do that quick adjustment there, take pressure off of that nerve, and that body can now allow itself to heal and function mm -hmm. normal how it should. Mm -hmm. So pretty cool yeah. stuff. It is cool. I yeah, love it because it's helped me in so in so many times. Yes. So many times. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I experienced I also experienced like like in that area where that, that nerve is pinched, mm -hmm. it'd be itch. It, I'm like, oh you can feel it. Honey, itch, you itch, can itch. feel it. Seriously. <laughs> Everyone does react a little different. Sometimes it's pain. Sometimes it's pain. <laughs> Why both? Yes. Why both? Sometimes it's just a yeah. muscle knot. You can yeah. feel just a muscle knot that's in mm -hmm. there. That, and that's an indication because yeah. that muscle's not supposed to be all kinked up like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty pretty cool stuff. I love it. I do too. <laughs> I do too. And it and and so I don't have those issues anymore. 
I don't have this shoulder nope. issue. Nope. But it's kind of. But then when you get take care of one issue, then then it's like a layer. Is it that like that? It's sort of like that. I always tell people we have to peel back the layers because yeah. unfortunately, unless we went through one specific trauma, mm -hmm. usually all of these underlying issues are things that build on top of each other because we have lives, we have yeah. stress, mm -hmm. we have you know mm -hmm. numerous, numerous other things that kind of pile on top of each other. So for me, it's we peel back those layers to get that healing mm -hmm. done. I mean, yeah. it's, yeah. yeah. So it's usually not one event that causes what we call subluxation or misalignment or problems in the spine. It's over time. So I ask a lot of my patients, okay, they say, oh, I woke up like this. Mm, I'll go with that to make you happy because that, that's part of that smile thing. But let's go back. Let's really look yeah. at what what yeah. happened. How mm -hmm. long do we really have to undo? Mm -hmm. And that's something I try to focus on a lot with patients is, yes, I feel like it happened yesterday, but let's also step back and look because it's not just one event. Usually we've got layers and, mm -hmm. and years to undo in most cases. Mm -hmm. Now, if I get a newborn, that's different. <laughs> yeah, We just start right from fresh with there, which is pretty cool too. Well, yeah, well, let's, well let's go with that. Okay, because let's you, do it. Well, for yeah. me, you yes. adjusted my grandson's. Hair, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little lady. Yeah, yes. Lane. He came mm -hmm. with your daughter, with mm -hmm. Jenna. Um, he, I just remember looking at him, and he was completely just <laughs> crooked, and he's, but he he's was. walking straight. He and I was like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> I need him over here. And we just, we've been working on him, getting mm -hmm. his, his whole little torso, yes. his ribcage here is mm -hmm. completely twisted. Mm -hmm. So I think, I believe Lane was about three months he was, when yeah. we started seeing mm -hmm. him. And mm -hmm. he's, I mean... He's, he's been coming. a challenge. He's coming along because he's, you know, he's a boy as well. So, you know, boys, yeah. they are, they're Climb kind of, on, fall on. Yes. They're, they're a little crazy. So, mm -hmm. um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I notice a difference every time we see him where he's, yeah. he's getting more straight yeah. and, and we'll, we'll get him there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but kids are great to see. They are. Well, my other grandsons, they come up right up on their oh, table. They, they lay out. They're like, get me. They you know? do. <laughs> they come right in they there do. and they, they just do. lay down. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, I'm ready. You know what it is? I, I've noticed seeing kids, they can't express it. Right. But when they do that, they know they feel better after. Yeah. So it's just yeah. really cool to see that mm -hmm. they can't say I feel better, but boy, whatever she did to me, hmm, I can be a yeah. little crazier because I... <laughs> I'm right. feeling better. Boys, they yeah, want to be crazy. Exactly. You so know, that they trip, they that's fall, something. They, mm -hmm. You know, they are rough. They jump off stuff yes. and oh. trauma to the, yep. you know. Yep. And uh, I'll tell you. And two, um, I, well, I think one of the first things that they were, my daughter was talking about is allergies. Yes. Talk about yes. that. Yeah. It's a, allergies is a hard one. A lot of people, um, there are even some that still don't feel that we can do much with it. Yeah. But it all goes back to this this nervous system and this right. spine here. Yes. So what are allergies? It's a malfunction somewhere going on in that nervous system. Yeah. So if we can open up that ner that flow mm -hmm. to those lungs, yeah. which is usually the biggest thing with allergies, it's more of the, the breathing mm -hmm. is a lot of it. Um, we can not necessarily take them all away, but we can reduce the symptoms, which yeah. is what most people are yeah. looking for. Because the symptoms are the worst part for people, the yeah, runny nose yes. and the sneezing yes. and the, oh, I can't catch my breath, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, we work on allergies all the time yeah. in kids and adults and right. yeah. And yeah, the spine is so important. It's so it's important. Huge. It's very huge. And that's, yeah. that's the biggest thing I try to, you know, I saw a little saying somewhere like, um, I don't remember how they worded it, but they had said, you know, you only get one spine, so yeah. You know, we got to take care of it. Yes. You don't you don't go to the dentist when you when you have a cavity. Yeah. You keep up with okay. that. Chiropractic should be the same way. It's a preventative mm -hmm. too. Yes, it's. Um, I usually tell patients, I don't want to see you all the time. If yeah. I am seeing you all the time, I'm not doing my job. All right. I want you to figure out your body. That's mm -hmm. what we're here to do. Figure out. Okay, if I go another week, I'm going to be in pain. Yeah. Come in before you're in pain. Don't let the pain happen. That's yeah. what I want people to, to do. That, that's when I feel I'm doing my job the yeah. best. Because not only we got them out of pain so they know it works, mm -hmm. but now they know they can prevent that pain from yeah. happening. And that's the... Yeah. 
And you do. And That's you do. what we want. Because we got rid of this. And then years ago, I had, I had a, a headaches. And they stopped. And they started coming back again. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, this was good. But, and, <laughs> and, but no, I'm so serious. I mean, headaches can be de de oh. debilitating. They're and, horrible. And, um, horrible. and, you know, I travel a lot. I, I, you know, Same I'm too. working a lot. Yeah. I, it, it's stressful. It's, it's, you know. You're not in your own bed. You're not. Right. Right. There's a lot of Airplane different factors. Airplane alone, girl. <laughs> oh, Airplane yeah. alone. Yeah. So um, I was, found myself getting headaches. And they were rough. They were rough. Oh, and, yeah. And, and so, but coming to you, you adjusting my neck, I, it, 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 they're far and few between. But when I do feel one, people, when I do feel one coming on, I'm, I'm texting. <laughs> Can I, you got tomorrow morning or like one time I was at 830 at night. Yes. I felt it coming on and it, boom, gone, didn't happen. I moved on my merry way, went on mm -hmm. about my business. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that helped me. I'm, I am so serious right now. Because <laughs> they hurt. Those headaches hurt. Oh, they're horrible. They yeah. hurt. Mm -hmm. And um, after adjustment, boom. It, it, because what happened was right here, I could feel it. And so I would start rubbing right here, <laughs> right here. I could feel it. And yes, you yeah. came in, you're like, it's right here. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yes. And it would shoot up. And yeah. then when, but the thing is, I, I have to bring up, you do something that I've never had done in any yes. other chiropractor's office before. And you hit the pressure points, my friend. Yes. So talk about okay. that, please. Okay, so for me, chiropractic is chiropractic. Mm -hmm. The adjustment parts, they don't change too differently between different chiropractors. I mean, we're all different, but. Yes. So what I like to add in a little bit different, mm -hmm. um, the muscles. Our muscles attach and they hold this whole spine in place. They hold mm -hmm. our bones in place, not yeah. just in our spine, our legs, our everything. Yes. So for me, if I'm gonna if, find a muscle that's got a big knot in it, like Susan was talking about, especially <laughs> she gets one right up and through here. Um, yeah. Working that knot out helps not only relieve the initial pain, mm -hmm. but when our muscles attach, they hold, like I said, hold our spine in place. If it's knotted up like a big knot over yeah. here, and I don't work this knot out, yeah. and I do the adjustment, but there's still a knot here, what's the point? In yeah. my opinion. <laughs> yes, um, yes. If you work that knot out and then that muscle can kind of lay flat where it should, mm -hmm. that adjustment is going to go so much smoother. Yeah. And then I feel and I find in a lot of my patients that it lasts a little bit longer because mm -hmm. our muscles have muscle memory. I always tell people, yes, yes, I think true muscles that. are, yes, yes. they're cute, they're pretty people, when on people, but to work with them is horrible because of that muscle memory. So the adjustment happens. If we don't release at least some of that, mm -hmm. then that muscle is just going to go, Kunk! pull it right back out so that pain isn't going to fully go away till mm -hmm. we release all of that. So mm -hmm. that's why I personally like to add it in, just a little added touch to make, it, make the adjustments go a little bit smoother. Right on, right on. Yep. Okay, we're going to take a break right now. When we come back, I'm going to tell you about what happened when my husband visited oh. Dr. Kristen. <laughs> Susan Cheatham, revivalist and worship leader has just recorded her live album, Release the Angels, featuring title track, Release the Angels. Release the angels Along with other new music like Ancient Gates. Ancient gate to lift up your heads. This and her other Open CDs are available for purchase. Ancient gates, the king of Okay, we're back, and we're talking with my chiropractor, Dr. Kristen. <laughs> yes. And, um, okay, we're going to talk okay. about my husand here for a minute because he's a big guy. He's 6'2", and he's a big guy. Yes. And a lot of chiropractors could not, could not, well, about lack of a better word, crack him. Right. So, right. but Dr. Kristen <laughs> can crack him. Okay, yeah. so tell us what you did for him. Okay, well, I, can I talk about the one time where he had called, you guys had called mm -hmm. and we, yeah, okay. go girl. I wanted permission first. Um, <laughs> so I remember one day I got a phone call from, I think it was you or I don't even remember if it was Roger, regardless, one of the two. Um, I think something's wrong with his heart. For My initial thought was, please don't call me, please go to the ER. <laughs> Please, please, please. So they did that because mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure initially yes, that yes, there was no yes. underlying issues with his heart. So after that had all settled down, Roger came over to the house and he was 
I guess may, the main thing I noticed, he just couldn't catch his breath. And mm-hmm. he had still initial chest pain. Mm-hmm. And he had, you know, been released from the ER, his medical doctor, everything, He's he was good. And so I'm like, well, something's still not right because he's not breathing right. Yeah. There's pain. Pain yeah. is, something's going on. So we get him down. He had the biggest knot right in his mid-back, which that spot would radiate around to the front and initially was twisting all of his yeah. ribs out of position. Mm-hmm. So we got him down there. We we <laughs> we worked him out, and Roger loves my thumbs. <laughs> let me tell you. So we got that knot worked out there, yeah. and we, you know, I like he's a big guy, so we yeah. have to put a lot of force behind his adjustments, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I just remember that pop, and he I, he kind of went whoa, yeah, and then. I said, you know, lay here for a minute, kind of relax. And he got up and he goes, I can breathe. Mm-hmm. I just, uh, I actually taught a class uh, last month or so to some did physical you? therapy yeah. students. Yeah. And I did tell that story. Uh-huh. And they were like, what? Oh my gosh, yeah. that's amazing. Mm-hmm. So all we did, we just, we just shifted everything in there. So yeah. those nerves weren't being pinched and right. they... Yeah, they healed. They healed themselves. Yes. And I just, I remember, um, I think I texted you and I checked on him. I don't know if it was the next day or a couple of days couple later. Days. It was a couple, yeah. And I just remember you said, well, he was able to lay down mm-hmm. and sleep, which mm-hmm. he had not been able to do. Yeah, he had to. He had to. Since then. Yeah. Yeah. So that was, to me, like, ah. That's what you live for. Yes, <laughs> that, that's what I want. And I just, I just yeah, pictured man. Roger yes. putting that smile on his face, and yeah. that, that's me. I want that. Yeah. I want everybody to be able to experience it. Life. I mean, we're right. here once. Let's right. Let's be healthy for it. Yes. You know. That's a, yeah. That's, that's a word right there. <laughs> that's a word right there. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I have a question for you. So if, if you're a person that's never experienced an adjustment, mm-hmm. um, uh, is it painful? Uh, <laughs> does it, I mean, I mean, it yeah. can be. Will you? It can be. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, everybody again. It's it is a hard hard thing only because everybody reacts differently. Yes. Everybody's body heals differently. Yes. So initially, when somebody comes in to see me. Um, I love to teach about it because yes. I think that helps. The more knowledge you have, mm-hmm. I think the more comfortable you feel with it because a lot mm-hmm. of people think chiropractic is a little strange. It's a little quacky, right. whatever. Right, right, I know, right. I know, but you gotta right. bring that up because it's true. Right, um, and so once you understand mm-hmm. what this is yes. and why we fix it, yes. it helps. Mm-hmm. So the initial adjustment can, yeah, yes, it can be, to be 100% honest, yes, we can have a little bit of discomfort with it. And I usually explain it's a little bit of a sharp pinch and that's because of that muscle mm-hmm. and that spine moving at the same time, the muscle fights it a little bit so you yeah. feel Oh, but then you just feel it relax oh, yeah, and release. <laughs> yeah. Um, now the other part behind that is if you've never had the initial adjustment, mm-hmm. and we we work the, mm-hmm. those muscles. Yes. I do tend to dig maybe more than I should, but I like <laughs> I just want it gone. Um, so what, so what what happens? What she means by her thumbs getting those pressure <laughs> points, but you want it, my friends. It's a good hurt, you but you want it because it it's, it's like a, it's like a massage. My yeah. m- yeah, when I get exactly. a massage, they get they get them. Mm-hmm. So you kind of get yeah. a double portion benefit. Right. I'm just saying. Right. Right. So what what happens is again <laughs> those muscles they can get really sore yes, so I do warn yes. people maybe the day after some people two days yes. after depending yes. mm-hmm. you can feel just kind of wiped out sore mm-hmm. I always say like you worked out that worked out feeling yes. um kind of a good thing we made a change yes and then mm-hmm. the next couple of days you'll just kind of again feel that initial mm-hmm. that felt so much better yeah. that's what we're looking for so can it be painful yes but in a couple of days, you'll feel the benefits mm-hmm. of it. Yeah. And I do also not, because I know chiropractic is not for everybody. So I yeah. also do let people know there is an extent to what we can do. Thank there you for that. There are times yes, when yes. other, you know, sometimes a surgeon is needed, you know, sometimes some pain management, different injections, yes. stuff like that. So I know enough right. to say, you know what, enough's enough. There's no more I can do for you, but let's get you to somewhere else mm-hmm. and let's try this route as well. 
I'm glad you brought that out because yeah. that was one of my questions yep. to to bring that yep. out because yeah. and I'm thankful for that. Yes. You know yes. that you yeah. you're willing to say hey, yes. okay, you know, am, we've gone as far as we can go here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not awesome. a miracle worker. Right. <laughs> no. Yeah. I like to think I am, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I always say if I was, I'd never be able to go to sleep because people would be at my house all the time or at the office all the time whichever. So. Yeah. Yeah, so we yeah. do, you know, we do what we can and we know our limits as well. Yeah. Yeah. That is super great, girl. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, you get a lot of people that have come, had been through a car accident, yeah. trauma to their yes. back, yes, yes, their yes. neck. Yes. You get a lot of people like that. And that's mm -hmm. where, and they, I mean, have you, I, I, I remember this was, I wasn't your office, but I remember going back and this was a long time ago. I, I don't know what I did, but I pretty much crawled into oh. my chiropractor's mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you had I, that happen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. <laughs> um, this one wasn't as a result of a car accident, but we had a guy call the other day, last week or so, and he's like, I literally can't walk. And I was like, okay, well, come on in. And he was not kidding. Yeah. He oh, I, crawled, I, I know. crawled <laughs> in. And, you know, I, we, we did our best. In that case, it's one of those things where it's going to take, I told him, Mm -hmm. Can you commit for the week? Because yeah. that's what we're going to need. Yeah. And he said, well, yeah. I'm going to have to because I'm going to Italy for a month. I said, oh my okay. Gosh. So by day, so he came in on, I think, a Wednesday. So we had mm -hmm. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He came four days. Yeah. We had him walking by. Yeah. If he walked what out. talking about. But crooked the first day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we got him. He was running out of that office by Saturday. Uh -huh. So it was really yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, yes, I have had other patients where we have had to put them on a little chair and just roll them down the way, the office because they couldn't mm -hmm. walk. And that's mm -hmm. okay. We'll get them there. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a challenge, but I like challenges. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. But, and, but you've had people, you know... Be you know, there's testimonies of people yes. yet yeah. that have through chiropractic mm -hmm. care just mm -hmm. come on and mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. just been able to function better, yes. be healed because you help yeah. your body to heal. That's the thing. that's all we do. Doing. That's all we do. I'm the helper. Your body yes. does the rest. I just yes. help push it in the yeah. right direction. That's yeah. that's all we can do. Yeah. And sometimes sometimes there is a certain point where I've had patients where there's not they're kind of a lot of degeneration or end stage yeah. different things mm -hmm. going on in their spine where I say, I can't make you better, mm -hmm. but I can manage the pain. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. for a lot of people is what they want. That Who likes to live in pain? Nobody. Nobody likes yeah. pain. Right. Makes you grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like yeah, grumpy. No fun. So hopefully pain is just, no fun. Yeah, just healing that spine and making you smile again. Yeah. That's, that's what we like. We like, yeah. sm we like happy. And that's true. And she <laughs> makes you happy. She yeah. makes you happy. I always feel better. I always feel good when I leave that place. When I leave. <laughs> I love it. I, I yeah. Um, so let me see. We don't have much more time left. Um, is there any like red flags? Like when your chiropractor, like say not you, but like mm -hmm. they're looking for a chiropractor. Is there any red flags to look for? Can you think of? Um, you know what? I uh, again, I feel. It's just finding the person that you mesh with. So mm -hmm. just doing an initial consult and getting their vibe, I think okay. for most people, you know if you're gonna mesh. I know, I see patients and I'm like, we're not gonna fit, and that's okay. I, I will openly say that's okay, just go see a chiropractor. I will yeah. introduce you to three or four yes. other ones. very good. But get help, just, yeah. it can help. That's so good. red flags, as far as that, I mean, a lot of people, um, like a certain technique so it's 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 yeah. so open-ended sorry yeah. that's kind no, of no, a hard okay. question to answer that's, it <laughs> is it is it is i kind of put you on the spot yeah, because yeah. you don't want to you know you yeah. don't want to bad mouth anybody or anything no. like that and i would never again right. i know it's i'm not, not for not i know that, i'm not the anymore. chiropractor for everybody but just find somebody yeah <laughs> find yeah. somebody yeah get do if you're not hurting do some preventative make mm -hmm. preventative stuff go in and get adjustment and then you won't have any disc issues or, right. or issues with your vertebrae. So um, anyway, we are out of time. See, I told you how time, time goes. Fast, yeah. Thank you for watching Arise with Susan. And uh, Dr. Kristen's information is on the screen right now. Awesome. And we just want to bless you. God bless you. And I just want to release healing into your body because God yes. can do it too. Awesome. God can do it too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love you. We'll talk to you soon.
You're watching the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network, hsbn.tv.